Welcome back. Okay, this is now a new series of videos I'm going to be making regarding the lighting for the spinner, the 2049 concept spinner. Um, there's a whole new lighting kit I've been working with Brickstuff in the United States, um, Rob, and he's done an excellent, stunning job on this kit. Um, this isn't the official way it's going to, be, it's going to come out. Uh, this is a test kit for me to install into my model and then to use to show how it actually looks. And I'll make this is part of the, inst of the install videos show how it'll fit into the kit and how best to install it. Obviously, um, you don't have to follow me. Um, that's the way I do it and everyone has their own way of doing it. Um, another thing is I've never ever installed a lighting kit in any model before. So, so it's a learning curve for me as well. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go through what you get in a kit and then from there I'll start the videos when I start doing the installation on where to put everything where the lighting goes. Okay, but I designed a kit specifically for lighting, which um, which actually is uh, the way I planned it, because that's the way the kit, in my opinion, should be displayed with lights. Okay, so I'm going to go through these bits. Okay, so the first thing you'll get is a battery pack, um, five volt battery pack. I've, I've got three AA batteries in here. You get a splitter with it for splitting off power for further um, upgrades if you would like. Okay, so next up is your um, side lights, which over here consist of four. Okay, and they're very, very tiny little LEDs. Side lights, that'll be this, the, the these, uh, let me just show you the port. These side lights, they're the yellow ones, they go in the, in the side of the spinner. Okay. Next you get tail lights. Now I've got extra over here so that I can do tests and things to see how it fits in. But your tail light consists of two sections which will be your um, your lower, which I've now glued on but I might need to take it apart. But I made the holes. And then the rear main light. Okay. So I've got quite a couple of um, extras over here. I will add to the side and then we, between Rob and myself we'll have to choose and see what works best, what looks the best. Okay. Okay, this is in no no order. It's just uh, basically just uh, I'm just going through it. I'm not working from front to back or back to front, etc. Okay, so this is your dash lights, um, consisting of as far as I can remember, it's three three lights. Okay, that's basically the left hand side. The small LEDs on the dash are not made to be lit because they're solid parts. Okay, I'm going to try and work on a modification to get the the brick stuff LED screen LCD screen. Um, to fit inside that's the one from the viper um so that will be this uh, little lcd screen okay so i'm going to try and integrate this into the into what i have then you'll have a moving screen which is quite nifty okay so that's your dash okay, this is a spotlight that goes on the front right hand side of the of the of the right pod okay so um the kit, this is actually a hollow part when you get your kit. Um, all the people who bought models already will be receiving one of these with that really uh, hollow inside. So it's less work. Okay. Uh, so next up is different uh, power options. So you'll have um, a USB plug, another splitter. Um, okay, so that's an option too for lighting. And then you've got your battery pack as well. The front wheel lights, so um, these are strips, so that's your front uh, pods, uh, these, are these areas, okay, and there's strips as well. Okay, next up. Okay, light bars. Okay, now these are made to fit specifically into the light bars. So you're going to grab a light bar over here. And you use this to, to pull one out. Okay, so there's three lights on here. Okay, and they fit perfectly one on each of these little sections okay 
Okay. The next is your front central headlights. Okay, between the two pods at the front of the um, the windscreen windshield, you got two two big lights, spotlights. Okay, these are those are these two front center headlights. Um, external wheel lights. So on this, these uh, are also made to be lit. Um, so you drill a hole through and you send the light into this section. Okay, there's two of them. You get um, sticky stuff to stick, and then extra, there might be extra lights in the original kit. Uh, Rob sent me two extras um, to test, I suppose. The okay, central top lights, okay, that's between the two um, light bars. And then you get your uh, your control board, which is all marked with the uh, where you must plug it in. Okay. And when you buy the kit, you'll get a, uh, a downloadable uh, install like, where everything plugs in. Okay, and last but not least, your con your remote because this this uh, you want it to be remote controlled. I think because it's uh, less holes to make the model to put uh, buttons, etc. Okay, and then you got your receiver with your antenna and then extra plugs. Uh, okay, so you'll be able to walk away and beep beep lock your car. <laughs> Okay, not really, but switch the lights off. Okay, so next video I will start looking, showing where and how they go in. And I'll need to drill some extra holes. Um, I'll go through the kit to show where the holes are. I did do some of it during the the original build videos where there's a section on lighting. So you can go there and look to see what I sh what I explained. But I will go over it again in the series of videos. Okay, so when I'm back, I will. Hopefully have, well, what I think I'll do is I'll come back with a video with everything connected before I install it. With all the lights connected and I'll go through how everything works. And then from there I'll do the installation. Okay, so till the next one. Cheers.